In this video, I want to show you guys how to create a function that will return the factorial of any positive integer. The factorial of a number is, say for example, we have the number 3 and we want to find the factorial of it. The factorial of 3 is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. The factorial of 4 is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24, and so on. It just multiplies itself by every integer below it until it reaches 1. And this function is actually incredibly simple. It consists of two parts. One is the recursive call, which is going to be n times n minus 1, which is basically 5 times 4. And it's going to recursively call itself until it does 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, and then we need a base case, because without a base case, this function would recursively call itself indefinitely until uh, it just wouldn't end, okay? So the base case is a stopping condition. The recursive function, function will call itself until we hit that stopping condition. We need that stopping condition to be 1, because that is the very last number that a recursive function multiplies itself by. So we're going to create the function, and we're going to use the define keyword. We're going to just say define factorial, because that's the function we're going to use. n is going to be the number. And we need to create our base case. And like I said, the base case is 1. So if n is equal to 1, we're just going to return n. And else, this is our recursive call. We're going to recursively call this factorial function multiplied by n, so n times our factorial function times n minus 1. And that is essentially all it is. So we're going to run this. So we're just going to say print factorial, and we're just going to say 3. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. OK, and if we did 4 and we ran it, that should be 24, yeah. So in the next section of this tutorial, I'm actually going to walk through every part of this program on the chalkboard. And if it ha doesn't make sense right now, it certainly will then. So this function st all starts out right here. And we're going to be finding the factorial of 3 instead of 4. So factorial of 3, this function call passes 3 to this part right here. So for our first function call, n is going to be equal to 3. And it checks, is 3 equal to 1? It's not. So it goes down into our second condition, our else condition. And it returns n times factorial of n minus 1. Well, n is 3, so we can write that n times the factorial of n minus 1 is just a recursive function call. So factorial of n minus 1 is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So this is our first uh, recursive call, factorial of 2. So what it does is it passes 2 with inside of our first function call. We're having a recursive call. But factorial of 2 passes 2 to this part. So for our first recursive call, n is equal to 2. And then it checks is if 2 is equal to 1, it's not. So it goes to our else condition. And it returns n times factorial of n minus 1. And that is 2 times our second uh, recursive call, which is factorial of 2 minus 1, or n minus 1, which is 1. So our second recursive call uh, calls yet another recursive call of factorial of 1. So n for our second recursive call is going to be equal to 1. And it checks, is n or is 1 equal to 1? It is. So this condition is now met, our base case. We are no longer going to be recursively calling our function. And to digress for a second, this is called a call stack. This is what happens when you recursively call a function. This is our first function call. This is our second function call. And it continues to add on function calls in the form of a stack. It looks like a stack of plates or a stack of something until it reaches the base case. And then it works downwards back throughout until it reaches the very first function call again. So now we've reached our base case of n minus 1, and it returns 1 back to this first recursive call. And it removes this top layer, or this top stack, off the top of our call stack. So now we've returned 1 to our first recursive call. And where it returns it to is right here. So 
we were recursively calling factorial, our factorial re uh, function times n minus 1. So this whole entire part is now 1. So this is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And as you can see, it's returning this again because this is our return statement. This was 2. This was re our recursive call. And it was 1. So now it's returning this 2 down to our first function call. And it removes this off the top of the stack. So this right here is now 2. So this is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And it returns it again because this is 3 times, and then this whole factorial part right here is 2. So this is 6, and it returns it to our print function. And our print function just displays it to our screen. So this right here is now returned into here. So print 6, and it prints it to the screen. And this works for uh, if we had 100 here. There would just be a really big call stack, and it would work its way all the way up. And then once it hit the base case, it would work its all the way all the way down just like it did here. And that's how you compute the factorial of any given integer greater than zero using recursion.